Welcome back to Chippo Fishing. We are still doing major mods on the Express. Major mods. We're talking it's going to be slick and sick and sweet. All of them rolled up together. That's pretty awesome. Okay, so what I want to talk to you about today. We're in a planted stage. Uh, this is what's going to happen with the uh, lighting system. Blue LED lights underneath the gunnel. Green underneath the gunnel on the outside. New for this year, nautical lights. Red is on port. Green is on starboard. So when two, two boats pass... You pass on the right, and red will be on your left. So your reds will come, hopefully not together, but red meeting red side by side. Coming in at night, red is on your right. So what are we going to do? Okay. Think about it, and then think some more, and then think outside the box. What do you have to work with? Okay. We have a big compartment here. It's pretty much an open compartment all the way, the whole length. We have a trolling motor tray. Ooh, a lot of room down there. We have access port here. Sort of tight, but we can work with that. We have switch panel. Switch, switch, trolling motor plug. Beefy, beefy Marinko and cigarette lighter which you can use for extra stuff um, and a nautical light so here's what we're going to do we are going to come inside here take this out separate that uh, separate the wires cut the wires we're going to run uh, nautical lights and come out here and come down. Just come over the sides and go one, one this way, one that way. It's already got some 3M molding adhesive, which is the best stuff, I think. The best. So, and I'll take care of that. Now... This is still on the switch at the console, so when I want it, boom, it's going to be there. Now, blue interior LED light strips. Outside exterior for the boat, green LED light strips. Lit up like a Christmas tree. Um, speaking of which, the nautical lights, LEDs, y'all should check them out because... They are bright, very vivid. And that's what it's all about. People seeing other people at nighttime. Now, how do we do that? Do we uh, try to rig it up on the console? No, here's what's going to happen. This has power to it at all times. So with that, even if it's not working now, it's got power to it. Uh, this was my navigational lights, which work these up here. Um, my, my trim. But this has power all the time. So I'm going to remove this and put a switch in here. Wire the hot to one side of the switch. And when I flip it to make contact, that switch will turn on blue LED lights and green LED lights so these are things that's going to have to happen okay now from this switch what are we going to do we're we just going to pull the wires out here okay we're back again it went click I don't know what happened but yes so if that's live current all the time we'll put a switch in here have the when the switch is off, no current to the lights. Switch is on, 
current to the lights. So, what's the most least invasive way that we can do this? Okay. Now, if you look back here, uh, yes, we can come out here and then start our blue LED lights and run this way. I've thought about that. But I don't know if that's going to be that good for the inside having blue up here because in this area here it'll be shining down on the deck it'll be more an ambiance than uh than uh my eyeballs are on burning i'm i can't see you know uh, instant radiation so uh reflective down pretty awesome you can see a lot yeah you know, it gives you a lot of ambient light and you can see what you're stepping on and, and where you're going. But LED lights up and in your face, pretty tough to deal with. So, what if I could just start here? Wait a minute, what's this? See the seam here? There's a seam right there. There's a seam right there. And I've actually poked a wire through there and could feel it. On the inside of this compartment so with that being said I can run it on the inside from here through here to my new switch now what am I gonna do on this side on this side I'm just gonna poke it through here or here and run it right to the switch so I will hook these two wires together uh, two positives together two negatives together since one positive one positive together two now I'm going to be putting the green and blue on the same circuit so I'm going to come out of here the motor I'm gonna come out of out of here and run through um, I do have the tiniest tiniest crack on the rub rail but be honest I don't want to mess with the rub rail I would rather have a little bit of wire to run from here to here and down uh, that's still up in the air but I'm gonna um, gonna try to figure that out. Um, so that's that's what I got going now. Um, it's starting. You have a plan, but the more you think about it, the more you may revise your plan. But you put it together, try to think up the best, easiest, most productive way. And sometimes most productive is not the easiest way. That's, that's a general rule. Yeah, the lazy way is. Yeah, normally not that productive, but the best methodical solution, revised, rethought, planned out, replanned out, cons considering all your other options, that's the way to go. So, um, just a thought, uh, let me know, and, or, um, yeah. Definitely don't, the whole, the whole gig is, I don't want to drill any holes in, in my new boat. Drilling holes in a boat just seems unnatural. All right. Uh, well, these are my plans. We're going to see how it come together. So, we're going to give it a try. Peace. Okay. GoPro, stop recording.